people are lazy as F. You are a lazy, lazy, lazy person. How are you paying someone $50 to stand in line at the Ontario passport office or otherwise? Listen, I have had to get my passport renewed like everybody else. $50 an hour, right? $50 an hour. Mm -hmm. I don't know what your experiences have been like at this passport office or otherwise, whatever line, but we're talking about this line specifically. I've never had to wait but 10, 15 minutes. You want to know why? Because I have a functioning brain and I'm not going to go to one of these places during the busy hours. So you go pay someone 50 bucks to stand in line for 15 minutes. Good job. This is genius. I don't even see how you don't see the genius behind this. Like, the people on Kijiji that started doing this, congratulations to you, man. I don't know where you thought of this, but this is great. Just standing in lines at like Service Ontario's or other places and charging people by the hour. Super smart hustle because yeah, they, they especially didn't during a time, this, but sure. especially especially a time of uh, during a pandemic. You right. know, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. Okay. If they were doing it, it before, I'm pretty sure they were doing it before, but they probably weren't able to charge as much. You know, because there's people that. I know would pay people to wait in lines to get Jordans or get some type of collectible or wait in the line for them to get into some type of concert tickets or some, some shit like that. I've heard of that, but service Ontario, those things for the exact reason that you just said, I've been to service Ontario just as much as anybody else has needed to be there. You know what I mean? And the longest I feel like I've ever, ever, ever waited was probably 30 minutes, which I didn't really have much to do in the rest of my day. Anyways, that's usually a day when you go to service Ontario, when you don't have much, you don't go during your lunch break. Nobody goes during their lunch break to service Ontario, right? So the fact that these people said, you know, it's during a pandemic, people probably don't want to be around other people that much. They want to reduce the amount of time that they're standing around other people, as well as we know there's a lot of rich, lazy people who just have money to burn and would rather spend money. And these are the same people who order Uber and order takeout all the time instead of getting groceries. These you know are the I mean? lazy, this is what I'm talking about. This is the... That's I, the I can't culture. even, but this I is can't the culture even, that we're in though. But I'm not even gonna call you creative. The person who originated this, you're not creative. I think it's smart. All it's you're smart. doing is just, you're which creative. is fine, is you're just leeching off the. And how are they creative? There's dog walkers. You have a fucking dog. It's your responsibility to walk your fucking dog. They have. I know dog that's, walkers. that's a great. That's a great thing. Okay. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, who's the person who created this? This was never done before. So whoever created it, yes, it seems very obvious to you. But the fact that nobody's ever done it before and somebody chose to do it, creative, very hey, nice. Hey, guess well what? Well played. I'm not Good frowning. Hustle. I'm not frowning on the people doing this. To your point, good hustle. Take advantage of the lazy people out there. There's lots Absolutely. of them. Take That's advantage what Uber of does. them. But I'm talking about the people who pay for this service. I mean, how much do you want to disconnect from 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 the world? Like really and truly. How but, bad do you just not want to be a part of society? You don't want to be a part you, of society, you, just have leave. You, have you ever ordered from Uber? Have you ever taken an Uber? Okay. Of course. So that's, it's the same concept. Well, the they're, only they're, difference is you're for paying, me. You're paying is, to be lazy. The only you have, difference, do, you, do you own a car? Listen, is it legal? Do you own a car? Is it legal? Do you own a car? Of course I do. Okay. So that means that anywhere Great. that you're ordering so off of Uber So is it legal eats, to drink right. and drive? No. No. So the time. So I guess you should have started your line of questioning. Is is why it stupid do you take, not to plan ahead? You should have. Yes. You should have started your questioning with why or when do you take Uber? If you would have did that, you would have known. The only time I ever take Uber oh, is when, when I'm drinking. going to drink. Right. You would have known that. Right. right. You didn't do that. Right. Okay. But designated public, drivers. There you go. Uh, uh, designate. Uh, you, you. I guess you haven't hung around with my friends before because they're all <laughs> everybody's drinking. Everybody's drinking. Yeah, yeah, everyone, everyone is drunk. Drinking. Everyone is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pets are drunk. I get what you're or saying. at least high. there are no. There are times. There are times where you do need to take Uber. That is one circumstance where you do. But I'm what I'm saying is a lot of times people will take Ubers just simply to get somewhere faster because they could either take the bus or they could find some other way to get there. They take the Uber because it's faster, even though it costs them more. They might order Uber Eats and own a car. So you could drive to the spot that you're ordering the Uber Eats from and save yourself some money, but they would rather just sit at home. So those are the same people. It's that it's a culture now. It's not like this is brand new. Oh, this yeah, is I know. That's, that, that's part of the society. So I'm, somebody just noticed that. That's why, I th that's what, once again, I think it's very creative because somebody noticed that they saw it and they capitalized off of it. They found All another I'm saying entry into is it. this culture that you're referring to that is real is just disconnecting us more and more and more and more and more. Listen, 
for the women who cannot have children, please don't take this the wrong way. I trust me, I, I sympathize with you. But some people have a, have a surrogate not because they can't have children, like, you know, they have issues down there, but just because they want to. They, they don't, don't want, want to mess alternate. up their body. They want stretch marks, yeah. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. But anyways, don't don't get me started. Uh, you know, I, I get it. You'd never in a million years ever see me using one of these type of services. I'm talking about land st uh, line standing. Never going to happen, ever. Um, uh, but what say you? Do you think this is a good idea? Scratch that. Is this a service that you would use? And I'm talking about to get your passport. I don't mean the lineups that are like a mile long for the new iPhone or the new George. I don't mean that. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, you can always just order it online. Have it it's usually right resellers. It's usually resellers that are paying people to wait in lines for them. So you have people waiting at multiple stores. It's smart. It's smart. All right. Fair enough. What are your thoughts? Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Unless you're going to hire someone to like and subscribe for you, you lazy fuck. Okay. Keep it moving. <laughs> so angry. Not angry. I'm being honest. It's very... Tone, tone is very angry. I'm just saying. I'm being honest. Well, One your honesty comes comes off as <laughs> <laughs> comes off as anger. Your honesty just comes off as, as anger. That is what I'll <laughs> say. <laughs> okay, listen.